how is this real life? It's so hot, guys. I'm so happy I'm here. Oh my god. Low key tempted to get a second one. Cheers. It's been a perfect day today. Hi. Welcome to the weekly vlog. And welcome to Bali, guys. We are here. I'm in the hotel. I'm going to give you a quick look around in a second. If you haven't, please subscribe. Your support means so much. If you have already subscribed, I love you. Thank you for coming back. Now, this vlog is probably going to be a bit of a Bali vlog because I'm here literally until Wednesday. So that's the majority of the week. And I'm so grateful to be here. I have a slight issue though. Every time I go outside with the camera, the lens fogs up. So I'm going to quickly try and go outside and show you where I'm staying. I'm staying at the Seven Yak Resort and Spa. It is beautiful. We're gonna to go to get buffet breakfast as well in a second, but let's go outside. Now, I'm safe because I'm in here, but firstly, check out the view. Watch what happens to the camera. We have maybe three seconds. So try and get a good look. It's gonna start fogging up in one, two. Oh, no, is it okay? All right, it's not that bad. <laughs> so this hotel and that hotel is attached. The breakfast is over there. I've got to walk there, but it's about 7.30. We've just woken up and Semenyak is starting to come to life. I have no complaints about this hotel. The bed is comfy. The bathrooms are great size. The only downfall is they only have two power points. There's one there and one near the bed, which makes charging a little bit difficult. But I've got my little desk here, my tripod, my bags, my other bags, and the bathroom. I cannot believe I'm here. Literally. Can't believe it, but I'm so happy. The humidity is already like really messing up my hair. This is the activewear fit I'm taking. So strange wearing a summer activewear set in June. I also can't believe it's June 30 today. End of financial year. That's better. I think it's gonna be a hair up holiday. See what I mean about the camera being foggy? It's actually so bad, oh my God. This is the buffet breakfast. I think I'm gonna do eggs on toast because I've been craving eggs. Again, that fruit. I have an egg coming. So I just ate one of the pancakes already, but I've got a waffle, some bacon, a sunny side up egg, a piece of bread that I toasted, and I also got a, a latte coffee. I already feel so much better just by being here. <laughs> crazy what a change of temperature can do to you <laughs> this hotel is beautiful we'll do a little walk around i'm just really sad about the humidity because how are you going to see everything <laughs> i'm also going to try and get taylor swift tickets again today this is a pineapple juice it does taste like pineapples it is such a beautiful resort the beach is literally just there so i'm going to take you I'm trying to find the pool. How cute. Wow. Oh, it's definitely not hot enough to go into the water now, but when the sun's out, this could be a vibe. I'm in Bali. I want to go see the gym and the sauna area now. I'm just, oh, spa gym. Okay, not bad. The gym is in there. I don't want to go in because there's actually some other girls working here. Hello! I think I might book a massage in here. Look at how pretty that looks. So cute. I won't be doing a workout today because of the late flight last night and lack of sleep. I might start the gym again tomorrow. Cute little fountain out the front of the resort. I know, I'm giving major tourist vibes. <laughs> Sorry. The sun has completely come out. I'm gonna check on Keenies and go lay by the pool and then we'll come back and I can try to get Taylor tickets. I'm in heaven. Bali, I love you. I don't know if this is gonna get flagged, but I'm putting on this Keeney. It's from Myra Swim. How do you do this? I don't really know, guys. Let me try and make, make this work. I think I've done it. All right. Let's go. I can't believe we're gonna have a pool day. It is so nice out here. I've picked a towel that doesn't have an umbrella right above me because it's a bit overcast and I'm not super hot yet. But I can always just move across when I'm feeling ready. Oh my God. 
let me show you the view. Like, how is this real life? How? I'm eating a tangerine. I am back in the hotel. I couldn't stay by the pool to get the tickets because my Wi-Fi kept cutting out. I also don't like my chances being in Bali, being on Wi-Fi. I've heard people say, you need to be on 5G, blah, blah, blah. I don't have a SIM here. Anyway, I think I might give it an hour. If I can't get them in an hour, I'm going to give up because I don't want to spend my day in here on the laptop. <laughs> I'm stressed. It's 1.59. Half an hour mark. I'm going to give it another 30 minutes and then I think I'll call it. I'm trying not to get too upset. <laughs> I really, really would have loved to have fallen. I haven't wanted to go to a concert like this so badly in a long time. I wish she did more shows. I wish she did them in other states. I wish she did more nights. I know she announced extra, but yeah. And I wish Ticket Tech had a better fucking system. Maybe I can look on the room service and see what I can order by the pool. I gave up. We're going back to the pool. I'm just looking at the menu. I'm leaning towards this. I'm not entirely sure. I think I will go for that because it just looks yum. I might add prawns. I'll see if they can do that for me. And should I get a drink? They don't have Sprite, no sugar. <laughs> My food arrived. It looks so good. I'm very excited to get into it. Yum. It has been a bit of a whirlwind. I was just at the pool the whole day. Came back, they were cleaning up my room, and so I just went and sat downstairs. And I quickly did a TikTok get ready with me. I've done way too much blush, but we are gonna walk to dinner right now. We're going to Ling Ling's, which is Japanese. I booked it for 5.30 because when you're having dinner for one, it's best to get in early. That way they can't reject you. But there was actually heaps of bookings available. Anyway, I'm gonna take the camera out, we're gonna go eat together, and I can't wait. Let's go. be cute it's not too hot now because like the sun's going down it's like golden hour this is where we are going yeah. romantic dinner for one the menu looks good there's a lot I want to get and I'll show you where I'm seated I'm right at the front so there's the street and here is the menu I think I'm gonna get a bit of everything because I need to try the bao I need to try the sashimi the grazing fried chicken it's the only bad thing about being by yourself, like you want to order more, but then you don't finish it all. They gave me popcorn, that's so cute. I got a Coke Zero. She told me that I've ordered too much for one person, but I think I'm alright. I got gyozas, bao buns, and edamame. Let's dig in. I'm leaving dinner. I was there for about 45 minutes. They gave me a rose. They were shocked that I was by myself, and I was like, please. There was also a guy in there on his own too. He was from the Netherlands. He was lovely. And we didn't even like judge each other or anything. We just were like, we're by ourselves. Like, <laughs> this is cute as, and look, it's got a little logo on it. I'm home safe and sound. It was good for me tonight to see what time the sun set, just so I can plan like the rest of my dinners and make sure that if I'm walking anywhere, at least I'm back before it's dark. Cause I got home just as it went, no light. Anyway, I just quickly went to the mini mart bottle of water, two coffees, they're the Nescafe ones. I got a macchiato and a latte, which I'll try on TikTok. And then I bought all these chocolates. They're only in Indonesia, I think. Milo nuggets, cashew nut. I don't know if we have cashew nut. We, we may. I have knockers and top, extra large. Guess how much that all came to? $8. You could never in 7-Eleven. Keen to try these. Anyway, I'm out here now, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do tonight. Probably sleep, I'm still a bit tired if I'm completely honest. Definitely need to drink some more water as well. Okay, it's only 9.50, but realistically it's like 11.50 Melbourne time and I'm wrecked, so I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm having the best time. I wish I could stay longer. <sighs> Now to plan out tomorrow's food. 
this vlog is mainly going to be me eating. I hope that's okay. Good morning, day two. And I woke up at 8 a.m. Bali time, which is like 10 a.m. Melbourne time. I did set an alarm and I actually needed a solid sleep. So I'm feeling good. I've got my activer on. I'm waiting for the rain to die down because it is pissing and I want to head to breakfast. So I'm going to take you with me and I'm hoping it can hold off because it rained yesterday morning too, but by the time I left, it stopped. So I'm hoping we have the same outcome today. Also did a taste test of this and guys, it tastes like the sachet just chilled. It does taste vanilla-y, but I think it's just the sugar that they've added. Anyway, huge fan of this. Trust me to find out like if there's a Nescafe alternative here, but yeah, can't fault it. The rain held off on me, except it is very humid. So I think the camera is gonna fail because it's getting foggy. It's so hot, guys, but I love it. Much better than Melbourne. I am here. It's super cute and I don't know what to get, but I really felt like a sai, so I'm definitely gonna get that. And then my hairdresser, bless her, Alex, said I have to get this, and I'm gonna trust her. Not that I'll probably be able to eat them all, but I think I need to try them both. So cute in here. The background is super cute. There's a beautiful sunflower painting, which I'll try and show you before we go. But yeah, I'm so happy I'm here. So this is the bacon and egg toasty. I'm definitely not going to be able to eat it all. And then this is the acai bowl. And it just looks unreal. Let's dig in. I think I'll try the bowl first. Doing a full bang in a full restaurant. <laughs> Dead. Okay, that's really good. I'm eating the eye off the barley. And then, I'm going to try this. <laughs> okay, this is good too. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. I ordered so good. I walked back from breakfast and I've come into the hotel gym. I'm actually going to do a workout. It is super overcast today and I believe the sun is coming out later but I just thought it's not really the weather to go laid by the pool. Let me do a little lower body session while I'm in here. Obviously I'm very limited because it's a hotel gym but they've got a squat rack and a barbell and they've got weights. I can do something in here. Also treadmills, they've got a couple of like main machines, leg extension, leg curl and then they've also got a chest press, incline press, shoulder press over here, and some steppers and other bits and bobs. This is not bad. Oh, and also a whole range of dumbbells and kettlebells. So I think I can pull something together. Just been doing work. I've got the podcast up for tomorrow, the vlog up for tomorrow, and I just did the last like edit and review. It is still raining. I'm gonna head out to the balcony and just read on there and maybe get room service for lunch because it's now 1.30, so I do want to eat something little because I've got a dinner booking again for 5.30 tonight. I'm going to go to a steakhouse. I've been craving like a steak and chips, so <laughs> that's what I feel like. But let me show you the weather. Very, very damp and wet, like the air is just like wet, if that makes sense. But it is raining. I'm just going to chill here. I don't mind. Oh, I don't think I can keep you out here. You're going foggy. I've been reading this. And this is how much I've read since I left Melbourne. I'm going to finish it today, I think. And I'm going to do room service. Change of plans. I'm actually going to go to Sea Circus to have lunch. So let's head off. It just stopped raining. I may as well take advantage while I can walk there and back. Let's go. I didn't like that restaurant. It was very crowded and claustrophobic and the food was okay but I don't know <laughs> a lot of people recommended it it's not that far from here so I thought oh surely this would be good I regret going there but I did go past Circle K I'm obsessed with the Circle K here got some <laughs> salt and vinegar chips because if I feel like a snack and then I also got a Kit Kat and I'm tempted to see if it tastes the same quick little taste test 
Always need something sweet after the main. Why is this so hard to open? <laughs> Looks exactly the same. Tastes a little bit different. Mm. Would buy again. I just showered and I'm going to start getting ready for dinner because I'm heading out soon and I'm going to film another get ready with me. The cook dog, I think, because the lighting's actually so much nicer out there compared to in here. The lighting is pretty bad, <laughs> but it's okay. Also kind of loving the little minis that I got from Drunk Elephant. I definitely think I'll be taking them to Europe too. This fit is super cute. I have worn it to... Adelaide when I went to the Jalique farm, but I wore it with a shirt. This is it just on me right now. Super cute, got my jewelry on. We're gonna head out, it's raining. I'm gonna ask the hotel if they have an umbrella because yeah, quite frankly, not interested in getting soaked right now, but let's go. I'm hungry too, so it's perfect timing. This is where I'm at, it's so nice guys. Boy and cow. The vibe in here is absolutely beautiful. I am gonna get a cocktail because it's Saturday night and it's just a stunning venue. I'll show you in a second. Hang on, I'm just waiting for people to walk past. See, look at it. It's beautiful. I got a lemon cocktail. This looks like the one that I tried to make at home. Do you guys remember? Cheers. <laughs> Dinner is served. I got my steak medium rare. It comes with salt and then some mushroom sauce. And I got some chips too. My drink is going down so well. This smells unreal. I'm home. I just got back in. It's about 8 o'clock. I'm going to shower, wash my face, and then do a face mask because I don't get to do this on the plane. Tonight was really good, by the way. Probably my favorite meal or outing so far. Everything, service, food, restaurant, ambience, loved it. And I'm feeling full and like satisfied. And also that cocktail was quite yummy. I kind of wanted more, but after one, I already felt drunk. Perks of never really drinking, one drink, tipsy queen. Much better. Showered, skincare, well, actually I didn't put anything on my face. I just put on this mask. <laughs> it's the go-to one. I'm gonna keep reading my book, I think. And then once it's ready, or once it's done, I'll take it off and put on my PJs. Cute. I've been reading. I've nearly finished the book. See this folded bit? I don't use bookmarks, by the way. I'm a folder of the page. I just regret not bringing a highlighter so that I could highlight my favorite bits. I'm gonna have to read it again. I started this book on the plane. I bought it ages ago and I love it. I'm gonna read it like maybe another tw two more times so I can really get it in my head when I need to get it in my head. Anyway, it is 9.40, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys nice and early. Good night. Morning. It's pouring rain again. I've checked the weather forecast and I don't think I'm going to get another beach day, which I'm a bit sad about, but it's fine. I came here to chill and even just being here, like the air, the energy, being out of my routine is like key. But I'm thinking this morning we just go buffet breakfast. Or maybe I should walk to a cafe. Don't know if you can see the rain through the camera, but yeah, it's definitely wet. Just a little bit. I am ready. I've got a black activewear fit on today. I am going to walk to breakfast. I think we're going to go to Revolver. I was going to go to Sister Fields, but Revolver is calling my name. Change of plans. I'm at the buffet. It's pissing down. I had to come and change my shoes because my sneakers were full of water. <laughs> Abort mission on walking. I got the exact same thing I got the other day. The egg, the bacon. I did get a hash brown today. And then a pancake and a waffle. I love that with the bacon, like the sweet and salty. And I did get some butter in case I want to butter the bread. I'm a bit sad about the weather, but it is what it is. to squeeze in a gym workout too. I'm about to get into it. I've got the whole gym to myself. It's still pouring rain. So here is gonna be how I spend my morning. Workout is done. I'm a little bit sweaty. Just did upper body. I did a little bit of this, the shoulder press. I also did lat pull down, seated row, over there bench press and overhead press. 
overall quite happy with how I squeezed in all my gym sessions. I only I'm gonna do two workouts here, so this was the second one. I'm in the spa. I'm gonna see if I can book a massage or a hair treatment. It's really pretty, let me show you. The one at my hotel. They've got essential oils. I want to get some of this incense. It's like for your chakras. This is right up my alley, guys. <laughs> and look, they've got crystals too. More scents. Okay, I'm going to choose one of these. I think I might just go all out and do the ultimate indulgence. Because it looks good. There's heaps of stuff in here. There's like a kid's spa. Grooming. I'm looking at these. So there's also wellness center. So there's yoga meditation it's just beautiful the massage place cannot get me in until tomorrow which is fine i don't know if i want to get another massage today i might but the rain has stopped now so we're going to go exploring and maybe i'll go somewhere for lunch instead of breakfast today making the most of it also i'm just walking in my sandals now which is not ideal because i've got like cuts all over my feet i don't know if you can see them from the sandals they're not very comfy i think i need to get different ones for europe Anyway, at least it stopped raining. I'm going to take the umbrella in case. And if the sun happens to come back, we'll quickly run back here. We can go to the pool. I've walked to Ginger Moon. This was also recommended. I'm going to have lunch here. Solid dates. I'm obsessed. Look at this. I got them mainly for that. Oh my gosh. Yum. Thank you. We had a change of plans. The rain has definitely stopped. So I'm by the pool now. And I'm going to read my other book because I finished attachment or attached what's it called attached and then i'm gonna read the one the gym guy gave me <laughs> anyway it's very overcast i'll flip you around but at least i'm at the pool and i've got my girl m's bikinis on these are the ones from napoleon which i love that's the sky right now hoping the rain can just hold off for me to lay here for a couple hours the vlog just went live i watched it on premiere with you guys I really like doing that. I don't know if I can do it every week, but I thought I may as well. I'm just gonna jump in the shower and start getting ready for dinner now. I did wanna try and have a little bit of a nap, but then I'm like, no, just have an early night instead. And a part of me was gonna cancel the dinner reservation and then go get Maccas, but I think I'll just get Maccas tomorrow night and have a chill last night, tomorrow night. Cause I fly home Tuesday night, midnight Bali time, which is technically, Wednesday morning in Melbourne, so I land very early. I land at like 6 a.m. Melbourne time, which is late because I can have a day to get my shit together. Anyway, just gonna enjoy it while I'm here. It's very, very dark out tonight. I am ready for dinner though, so I'm gonna head off. I am actually gonna leave the camera here tonight because it's on zero battery and it has to charge, but I'll be home shortly and we can head to bed. <laughs> I'll quickly give you a fit check. I'm going to pop you on the balcony because it's the only way I can show you the full length. Oh my god, it is actually so foggy out. Yeah, it's beyond humid. Oh, get back in. I'm back from dinner. Can I just say that was like a, another great meal. Last night and tonight, probably my two favorite dinners so far. I went to Da Maria. It was Italian and oh my god. Everything was so good. I just kept eating, eating. I ate like half the burrata by myself. And then I got the ravioli and it was chef's kiss. Anyway, I'm walking home because I ended up getting a Gojek there. That's like their Uber here. So if you ever come to Bali, download Grab and Gojek because that's how they do like Uber and Uber Eats. Anyway, getting sidetracked. So I'm walking home and I walk past this bar and it's like a sports bar. There's like TVs and shit. They're playing sports and... It was like packed full of people and I see these like two guys. One of them is like very handsome. And so I had like looked at him and then I like kept walking and he's like, hey, 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 come back. And I turned around and he's like, come back. And I was like, okay. So I walk over. He's like, what's your name? Puts out his hand. I go to shake it. I brush my hand through the fucking bush. It's covered in water because it's been raining. Shake his hand. I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's like, oh, my name's blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, my name's Adele. And he's like, you're so beautiful. I was like, thank you. Like, I'll take that compliment. I'm in my feminine energy. And then he's like, how long are you here? Are you Aussie? Where are you from? Cause he's from the UK. I said, yes, I'm from Melbourne. I'm here till Wednesday. And he's like, oh my God. He's like, I, he's like, I want to hang out with you. He's like, do you want to join us for a drink? I said, no, it's okay. Um, you guys have a good night. And I thought to myself on the way home, isn't that funny as women, it's not even funny. It's just sad, like you automatically think people are gonna kill you. And I'm by myself, so I wanna be smart, right? And they're like, where are you going? I said, oh, like I've got friends waiting for me back here. 
you guys. And then he goes to me, well, can, how can I like stay in contact with you? And I was about to say like, I'll give you my number. He goes, do you have Instagram? I was like, yes. And I was like, do I have to give you my Instagram? And he's like, why? And I was like, oh, I didn't want you to judge me from my Instagram. And he's like, why? I was like, oh, because I'm a content creator. He's like, give me your Instagram. I was like, okay. So I gave him my Instagram and yeah, we've followed each other. So that's the current situation. Will he DM me? Also, he's on private. Anyway, he's really handsome. Wash my hair. I have one complaint. The water here goes cold so quickly and there's no PowerPoint in the bathroom. So I have to dry my hair out here and I just had a freezing cold shower. Now, I do wash my hair very quickly. However, unfortunately, it went cold after about 30 seconds, which is not ideal. And I feel like maybe everyone else has had showers and that's why there's no hot water left because it was hot water the other day. Anyway, let's dry this off and get to bed. My hair does not lack what I've done to it here. <laughs> It feels so dry. I need to wash it in my usual bathroom with my other straightener. I just bought this one with me, just for like space. Anyway, I feel much better that I've washed my hair. And you know, if I do have a little cheeky date tomorrow night, at least we've got clean hair. He did accept my request and um, we've been DMing, so. <laughs> Good morning. It is 7.45. <sighs> I'm gonna walk to brekkie. Had a good sleep last night, aside from I woke up like sweating, you know, when you just, oh. I don't know why I had such a bad dream. I reckon it was all the burrata that I ate. Sometimes if I eat too much garlic or cheese, it gives me nightmares. I really want acai as well. I'm gonna walk back to kind. Cheers. And my shoes from the day before that are still soaking wet. <laughs> I'm sitting out here and the humidity is just like, <laughs> I've got, please don't be in love with someone else. <laughs> anyway, we need to go to breakfast. Here is the vibe today. I'm gonna hopefully have my sunnies hold the frizz. <laughs> uh, I don't have any more active wear, so I've got on a casual fit. And I wanna say I pack like a bloody professional because I think I'll get through most of the stuff that's in my suitcase. Anyway. Let's go get some food. I came back and also I just met Mia. She's from Australia and she follows me and we're having breakfast. She saw me whip out the vlogging camera. I ordered the acai bowl and I'm happy I came back here. The pink wall makes me happy. And so does the food. So I just got one thing because I didn't want to eat too much stuff. Given I'm going out for lunch and may go out for dinner as well. The acai is so good. I got no banana on top this time, but it's the exact same as what I got the other day. So yummy. Oh my God, look at my little sweat fringe. But look, the sky is a bit blue. Can you see that? I'm going to the pool, let's go. Bikini of choice is old glasses. Terrible angle, but lighting is working from here. And I've been living in this little sarong. The bikinis I wore on the first day and the sarong are from Myra Swim. And they actually gifted them to me ages ago. Like I'm talking probably last year. And I obviously hadn't worn them at all. And I really like them. So I think I might do an order for some other stuff before Europe. I've sat somewhere else today, but this is the other side of the pool. The waves look very big out in the ocean. People are out there swimming. Low key tempted to do that. Anyway, I'm gonna take advantage while this is out. Pool day is done. I'm back in my clothes and we're gonna go get lunch. I booked Mama San at one o'clock. It's 12.30, so by the time I walk there, it'll be one o'clock. My plan is to relax here until my massage in an hour. Also, low-key didn't like the fried dumplings. I've got to stop ordering them. Their crispy dumplings are deep fried, not pan fried. I prefer pan fried or steamed, not dunked like that. And yeah, they were okay, but like, should have gone to Ginger Moon again. Anyway, we've got a full body massage in an hour and I'm so excited. I'm going to have a massage. I've got this wrap on and these <laughs> little thumbs and I'll see you guys when I'm done. 
I'm not going to take this camera in because I'm going to try and enjoy the experience, but I'll see you in two hours. I'm back from my massage and my spa. I just had a quick shower. That was incredible. I had a full body massage, had a foot bath, a foot massage. I had a body scrub. I had a facial, the works. And Bali has turned it on for me because we'll look at the weather on my last night. I'm actually shocked. I can't believe this is the Bali that I've been in for the last few days, but it's perfect. We have to go watch the sunset, I think. I tried to book that restaurant behind me. It's actually so beautiful. It's called La Luchola. I think that's how you say it. It's right on the beach. So this is Seminyak Beach. It's my first time actually stepping foot on it here. I've been to this beach many times before. Anyway, they have no booking. So there goes that idea. It is Monday night and it was quiet this morning. So I'm surprised that they're fully booked, but I couldn't book online. They said just to come and walk in anyway. I've ended up at this place. It's like a deck above the road. Super cool. And I actually love the menu because there's a couple things I could get. I think I'm going to get either tacos or tapas. Between you and I, this is the best cocktail I've had the whole time I've been here. And this place wasn't recommended to me, but I really like it so far. I hope the food is just good. I got the lychee and hibiscus martini, and it is so sour and oh, delicious. Loki tempted to get a second one because it's going down like water, which is probably not a good thing. To start, we're gonna have three mini tacos. I got the fish, the beef, and the pork belly. I think. Yum. I've realized putting lime on everything makes everything taste so much better. So, lime it is. Let's dig into the fish one. Oh no. Oh my god. Am I drunk? Surely not. Cheers. Mm. Night. It's our last night here. I feel like. The two cocktails were probably a mistake. <laughs> I was a bit tipsy and I just haven't been able to get to bed yet. I also feel like the food and drink is sitting here. That's okay. I know I'll digest through the night. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for our last day in Bali. Morning. Touch and go last night, guys. I almost gave myself an anxiety attack, but I slept and now look at how I've woken up. The sky is blue. The weather is for my last day. I'm so happy. Last night, I was not feeling the best. And then I was like, oh my God, I've got food poisoning. This is it, I'm gonna die. I'm like Googling symptoms. It was fine. Honestly, I just probably had too much to drink. <laughs> and so I didn't go to sleep till like 1 a.m. But it's okay. We're gonna get up, we're gonna go get breakfast. Then we're gonna lay by the pool and soak up this last day of sunshine before we have to check out. I have to check out at 12.30. And then I can still lay by the pool after that. <laughs> Yum, that looks so good. That was the best breakfast I think I've ever had. <laughs> I need to know how they do that hash brown. It was so crunchy and crispy. Anyway, I just left and there was a line. So get there early. I got there at about 8.30 and there wasn't a line. It's nine o'clock now and there's like 10 people waiting to get a seat. I can see why it's good. The coffee is meant to be like amazing there. I didn't get one. I just got a uh, orange juice because that's what I felt like. But I had been there the first time I came to Bali, which was I think maybe 2016 or 2017. It was a long time ago. And so it's still amazing. Add that one to your list. We're going to go back and lay by the pool now. It's actually perfect weather today. I'm so happy. And the waves are giving like very relaxing vibes. But how good. Thank you, sunshine. I've left the pool. I'm about to go check out, guys. I almost waded through my suitcase. There's maybe like 10% of stuff I didn't wear. A couple tops, a couple pants, a couple shorts. But yeah, everything's packed up. I made sure to not leave anything. I'm gonna go lay by the pool because it's currently midday and my flight's not till 11 p.m. tonight. So we're in for a bit of a brutal afternoon, but that's okay. We're gonna enjoy it. All right, I'm sad. I've just sat here all day. It's 3.30. I'm gonna go get changed in a second and head down to get my last meal and then I'll come back, shower, and we'll go to the airport. It's been a perfect day today. Not one 
inch of rain. I had to come back guys. I'm a bit early. My booking was at five, but this is the current time. Coke Zero. I got a different dumpling and these ones, the prawn and ginger were my favorite. So there's also one more plate coming, but apparently these are really, really hot. So I'm gonna try and eat them. Low key, a little bit scared, but we're gonna give it a go. a big kick to it but I reckon I can eat it. I'm back from dinner I've just showered off I probably didn't reapply my sunscreen enough today and I'm really annoyed at myself I don't know how dark I'm showing up on the camera but I'm definitely in real life a touch red yeah I'm not happy about it anyway they've kindly let me hang out in the executive suite here while I wait for my flight which is lovely there's like free drinks full study bookshelf everything over there so I'm just packing up my suitcase I went crazy at the shop because I want to take this back to mum and dad so we can do some reviews I'm in the airport I've made it I am um, just walking to my gate the airport is quite busy for none here anyway I'm gonna put in the caption or in the notes the drivers that I've used while I've been here. Can I be in your vlog? You want to be in my vlog? Yes. All right, what's Woo! your name? My name's Angus. Are you leaving Bali? Leaving Bali. How was your trip? I loved it. Oh, it so amazing. Lovely to meet you, Angus. What's the What's the YouTube? Adele Marie. Adele Marie. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Dead. There is no way that my gate has a Gloria jeans. I just ordered a chiller. <laughs> I wonder how the Balinese one will taste. I'm so excited. I was like, I'm so excited. And the guy's like, for what? I said, because you have a glory jeans. He's like, you're Australian. I said, yes. It's not bad, but it's definitely different. The chocolate tastes different. The chocolate in glory jeans Australia is like cannery. This one feels very milky. I'm probably not gonna drink it all because I may shit my pants on the plane. Good night, guys. We're about to get on the plane. It is literally 11 p.m. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, which might be in an hour or so because we're flying overnight. I love Qantas. Thank you, Qantas. They're about to feed us, give us a pillow and a blanket. Let's go. Same as when we got on at Melbourne. We have water, headphones, pillow, and a blanket. I also have a window seat again. And I will for real say goodnight this time. Bye. I'm back. Hi, Sally. Hello. I know! <laughs> oh, I missed you. I missed you. You're so cute. Good morning, guys. I'm back. It is 7.30. I barely slept on the flight, but anyway, we carry on. I feel a bit frazzled. I just slept for two hours. It's now 10.30. I actually miss my wheat fix. I miss my coffee. I'm gonna try and stay awake now until tonight. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Never let me book a flight like that again. Guys, I cannot believe it. I just had my whip with M and then I got a Taylor Swift ticket. I can't believe I got a Taylor Swift ticket. What the hell? So one of my followers, Jess, messaged me saying, oh my goodness, my parents are members with Crown and Crown has a, a special allocation of Taylor Swift tickets that go on sale at 12 o'clock today. Here's the code because her parents weren't going to use it. She wasn't going to use it. And so she gave me the code and I got tickets. I just bought one. I was going to buy more and do a giveaway, but I just thought I saw some brands doing that. And I don't know if it's actually allowed with front frontier touring. And while I really want to do that, I think there's something a little bit icky about saying, oh, follow me or like this post to get the ticket. And I don't want to do that with a Taylor Swift ticket. So I'm not going to do a giveaway, but I can't believe that I'm going. And Jess, I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos. I've already replied to your DM and sent you a voice message, but thank you. I can't believe this. I'm back to life, by the way. I ate my wheat bix I had the nap. The whip was good with M. I've got a lot of brand stuff that I'm behind on because I was in Bali, but I'm going to Taylor Swift. I got tickets on the Saturday night. A reserve.
Who's Herb? Hi, Dad. Hello, Mrs. Barley. Oh, you look tan. <laughs> Thanks. First time I'm eating with people in nearly a week. We all know how I feel about eating alone. Nah, it was not that bad. I enjoyed going out by myself, but mum's also guys, I got influenced. I don't know if I showed you, but I ordered cookies from Brookie. That rhymes. She's on TikTok. This girl, Brookie. We're going to do a review later. I'm very excited. What did you order? I just got the favorites. There's red velvet, New York style, double choc. Oh, the big ones, aren't They're they? They're giant, so we won't eat the whole cookie. What happened to the choc chip? Choc There's choc chip in there. Oh, good. Just letting everyone know this is my dinner and finally having a Sprite no sugar. Bali's not onto the Sprite No Sugar yet. Devastating. How was it, Bali? It was good. It was good. I have washed my makeup brushes tonight and hopefully they'll be dried by the morning thanks to that. Little Franklin is going to sleep in my bed. I'm going to quickly have a shower, get out of these clothes that I've been in for literally way too long. And then we go to mummy's bed, okay? Not your bed, my bed. I feel like today was a bit of a write-off because... I slept for most of the morning and then was just trying to sort my shit out, but I'm proud of myself for unpacking straight away. I think that's a testament to how I am feeling mentally because I don't know if you remember, there was one time, I don't know if I went to Sydney or Queensland, I can't remember, but I didn't unpack my suitcase for like a week. That's not like me. And the fact that I did it straight away today just shows me that like, yeah, I'm feeling better because I don't want to keep my space messy. I want to look after it. and. I feel like that goes for the same kind of analogy for my brain. Anyway, so happy I have a little Frank here and so happy to sleep in my bed and it was nice to have dinner with my family. I miss them. And yeah, I'm really happy that I went and yeah, I'm just in a bit of a reflective state post Bali. So good night from me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I'm having my coffee. For the first time. Oh vlog. Oh. Ah, I made it hot. But that's good. Oh I missed you. I'm gonna have to take it to Europe as well. Alright guys I slept in. That's okay. I didn't set an alarm. It's only nine o'clock. I need to get to the gym. I need to purchase my membership because my gym membership expired. I just buy it in like three or six month chunks because it works out cheaper. So I'll probably buy like a three month one or a six month one again. And then I have to film a brand deal. Then I'm going to get my nails done. No idea what I'm getting. And then we're going to chill because I want to ease back into it. Ready for the gym. Got my water. Got the fit on. I'll see you guys in there. We're going together. It felt so weird driving my car here. <laughs> I was like, oh, did I forget how to drive after not driving for a week? a little bit brutal but it's done I also sorted my membership I did end up doing a six month option because that will take us to January I don't intend on oh, moving anytime soon so I'm definitely going to be staying at mum and dad's until then and it just makes sense for me to continue coming here because yeah for six months it was $300 and I go to the gym at least four times a week and the casual sessions I think are like five or six dollars so it just works out better and I didn't want to lock myself into any weekly ongoing recurring option because then it's like 12 24 months which is probably a bit too long for me to commit to but we need to eat because I'm starving that was really hard also I'm getting my period so yeah this is like my couple days out before it was very nice to have barley while I was having PMS because I couldn't really notice it because I was so distracted by Bali, which was good. Franklin, when I get home from the gym, hi, I'm back. He does not give a shit because he loves the heater. Love being back in my routine. They definitely had cereal options at the buffet, but I was in a bit of an egg and bacon mood. <laughs> ready i filmed the content also filmed to get ready with me filmed to pick my nails tiktok drove here we are heading into the appointment now i have no idea what nails i want to get but we're gonna say goodbye to these bad boys
These look so good. All my fairy dreams. <laughs> We are done. Look at these. I'm really happy with them. We did like a nice baby blue. I'm obsessed with chrome and like glitter, so that's why I went with this. But they just are giving ice Barbie, and I love it. Come past the PO box. I got a text from the post office saying you need to come ASAP. Three large packages have been delivered. I know what they are, and I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm so excited to get them. But let's quickly run in. Three, one. I'll show you what we got. We'll do, we will do unboxings tonight. They are suitcases for our Europe trip gifted to us from July. Hi, little buddy. He's been so excited that I've been in here and he's been looking at me taking in the big packages like, what the hell, bitch? I just warmed up a chunk of the double chalk brookie cookie. <laughs> I hope you guys saw my review, but if you didn't, NYC double chalk and Red velvet are my favorite. I will buy again. Probably just the NYC to be honest. But I would be in the mood for red velvet or a double chalk like this. So gooey. Put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Perfect. We're having that crusted salmon for dinner. Mom and I were just saying that we <laughs> Don't say that, you weren't here. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but you Dad, Bali, Dad right. loves it, so he gets it. I love it. Dad and Mum liked my nails as well. Oh, they slay. She is unbelievable, the nail technician. She is. Give her a follow, go and get her nails, you know, maybe she'll do mine before I go to see the girl. You have to get some nail art, Dad. Cute really? little lemons on them. Lemons? Have a no, little... Lemons, all flames, oh. <laughs> Never over my sprout. Mm -mm. Please have the cupie, thank you. You can have cupie. I just like the cupie on it. Oh, look at that Perfect. love on this plate. Oh, oh. yeah. <gasps> Franklin, enough. You're also sitting where you should not be sitting, dude. We get. We got luggage from July. Guys. And it's amazing. Look the at our suitcases. suitcases. Six different settings for a handle. It's amazing. And personalized little tags. They gifted and this to us because they knew we were going code. to Europe. And usually they would only send the PR to like the talent. I don't give a shit, but I got my sent, yellow one. I'm they scared. sent it to mum and dad. I got yellow. Because we created the talent. Oh. Yes, we created you, darling. <laughs> Cuties, thank you, July. Thank, thank you. you. This is unreal. And just like that, the vlog is over. What a week, guys. I am feeling much better than last week's vlog and probably the week before that. I was maybe a little bit harsh on myself in the sense that I told myself before Bali that I was just running away. And then after I reflected on it with my psychologist, we realized that it's actually okay to take a time out from your life and the ultimate lesson I learned is that when you are or when your mind is whispering for a break listen to it before it starts to scream because I let it scream and I probably had warning signs months ago but I needed to take a bit of a break like that and yeah I ignored them so don't be like me <laughs> obviously I know that Taking an overseas trip is a luxury and not everyone can just pack up and do that. But I think there's a way that you can do it on a budget and a smaller scale. And I'm going to do an episode on the podcast about solo travel, which I think will come out next week. And I'll touch on that too. But yeah, I'm just feeling really grateful that I was able to do that for myself. Proud that I did that for myself and thankful for Bali because that place just has a soft spot in my heart and that trip kind of fast tracked some of the stuff I needed to work through. I still have stuff to work through, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it just did so much for my heart. So I feel better. And I'm really thankful for you guys as well for being supportive and being so wonderful to me over the last couple of weeks because yeah, I'll always keep it real with you guys, but I really needed that. And the good has outweighed the bad, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, 
good night from me and Mr. Franklin, who is all cozied up. He's going to sleep with me again. Be safe. Look after yourselves. If you need some time out, take it. It doesn't make you selfish. It doesn't make you anything bad. Like, just take it, whether that might be a time out for half an hour to go do something for yourself. Or maybe it's an hour to go pamper yourself. Or, I don't know, listen. If your body is telling you something, if your mind is telling you something, please listen. Please take that lesson away from this vlog. All right, good night. I love you. I'll see you next week.